I want to start by recognizing the South Carolina Progressive Network, of which my real job, Casa Family Systems, we are a proud member of the Progressive Network. And I want to give a big round of applause to Brett Bercy, Wade Brett, who is the director of the Progressive Network. And if y'all know, like I do, you know there are a lot of times when a whole lot of people do a whole lot of talking about what ought to happen and all they do is talk about what ought, what ought to happen, I'm standing here today to tell you that the South Carolina Progressive Network, under the leadership of Brett Bercy, not only talks about it, but takes it into actual action to make sure that while our voice is small, it is a voice. And I want to recognize Donna DeWitt, who is also, Donna, raise your hand a member of the board for the South Carolina Progressive Network. Y'all know how proud I am of Justin Bamberg. He is going to be joining me in the South Carolina House and helping us make sure that rural communities in South Carolina have access to care. And quite frankly, that is what this is all about. I want to just close my comments by suggesting to you, you heard Cheryl Mason the chief financial officer here at the Regional Medical Center talked to you about the numbers and what those numbers mean as far as Orangeburg, Bamberg, and Calhoun counties, which is the service area for the Regional Medical Center. Y'all, this is real. There is nothing that can convince me that Medicaid expansion is an idea whose time has come. Justin Bamberg talked to you about his mom, and for those of you out here, you really know his mom and didn't know it was his mom, Rhonda Bamberg, with the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Department. That's who he's talking about. Rhonda wouldn't be here today doing the fine work she does with the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Department if the doors of the emergency room at Bamberg Hospital had been closed. What I want to impress upon you is that this is politics with a small p. This is not Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, Labor, United Citizens. This is politics with a small p, meaning people.